While a 5G connected world promises to bring huge benefits to enterprises and consumers, it is putting tremendous pressure on CSPs as they strive to modernise their businesses and, in particular, their network architectures under the increasing threat from cloud-based competitors. Well, joining me now is Lakshmi Mandiam, who is VP Product Management Telco at VMware. Lakshmi, very nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a pleasure to have this conversation. Now, what do you see as the, the main challenges that are facing your customers and that are also influencing VMware's development strategy, particularly as it relates to cloud native? Yeah, I mean, we see a monumental shift happening amongst CS CSPs, and it is, as you pointed out, driven by their 5G rollout. What we see with 5G is that it's going to be a more complex deployment than previous generations, given the higher performance capabilities. And it's also going to be a more distributed um, and complex network with the need for more distributed intelligence at the edge. We also see a lot of business pressure from the CSPs and they're trying to transform themselves into digital service providers that can deliver a variety of digital services to consumers and enterprises across a variety of industries. And so as they think about that, a key ingredient to that whole strategy is going to be their infrastructure. So they need to be able to modify their existing infrastructure and existing clouds and take advantage of all the benefits uh, that cloud native technologies can bring and overall be more cost effective for these CSPs. So as you say, it, there's, it's a more complex network we're looking at. The, the demand for new and innovative digital services is, is increasing. Um, CSPs have deployed NFE platforms already. VMware is working very closely with them. You've been at the forefront of delivering cloud-based solutions for them for, for, for years now. Um, how are you continuing this work? What is it that VMware is announcing now to help CSPs? In our conversation with customers, um, their pain points are around having to manage a complex and siloed architecture to support BNFs that they've already deployed and now CNFs. And what they want is a more joined up story from core to edge with better visibility and simplified operations. VMware is announcing our Telco Cloud platform that adds cloud native technologies like Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. But more importantly, this platform will deliver web scale speed and agility while maintaining carrier grade performance, resiliency, and more importantly, will allow the CSPs to innovate fast. Now, as you say, CSPs are very keen to embrace cloud native methodologies. Um, whilst at the same time maintaining their, their um, carrier grade capabilities. How exactly will VMware through its Telco Cloud platform help CSPs make this move? And also, you know, I guess it's, it's doing it for uh, greenfield sites is, is one thing, but brownfield sites, you know, you, there's, there's the added complexity of all the installed base as well. Right, um, you nailed it. I mean, this is going to be an evolutionary journey for a lot of our partners. And so TCP, delivers a horizontal unified infrastructure platform that normalizes the container as a service and infrastructure as a service layers and OS layers and provides this consistent infrastructure across core and edge for both CNFs and VNFs. But more importantly, it delivers a more infrastructure aware, application aware and service aware capabilities that allows CSPs to harness the intelligence from their networks to simplify their deployment and operations. And so key to that whole aspect is automation. And so we automate at multiple levels from the infrastructure all the way up to the network services layer. And so in addition to what we're delivering from the platform itself, um, as I said, uh, for CSPs, extending their multi-vendor strategy is really, really important. And so we have built over the years um, a great uh, catalog of um, virtual network functions with our ecosystem. And so we've extended that with our Telco Cloud Certification Program to continue to build the best of breed multi-vendor ecosystem by integrating not only VNFs, 
but also CNFs with a telco cloud platform, further simplifying um, the cloud service provider operations. You've got this great knowledge base. You've got a lot of tools. You've been working for a long period of time on this. Um, one of the key messages we hear from CSPs is it's time to operationalize. When it comes to cloud native, they want to operationalize. So what's your advice to operators who are now looking towards deploying and operating cloud native architectures? In our conversations with operators that are at various stages of the journey in terms of their transition to a cloud native architecture, so I would suggest that operators assess where their current infrastructure is. Are they just virtualized? Do they want to take the next leap and be cloud ready? Or do they want to go to cloud native? And we just had a customer that we announced Dish Networks who went straight to a cloud native architecture. So it's really important for operators to assess where they are in this journey because the journey is going to be different depending on where you are. They also need to think about the deployment, not just siloed from a core or just an edge perspective, but think about it holistically and also think about a multi-cloud strategy for this deployment. Many customers also need to be able to deploy on a hybrid infrastructure because they have an estate that is deployed using VNFs on a virtualized infrastructure, but they need to be able to extend that to include cloud native functions. And so this is where a hybrid infrastructure is something that should be uh, in your consideration. I would also say that as, the, as you think about deploying a new cloud platform or extending your existing cloud platform, think about a platform that will allow you to modernize your infrastructure and deliver web scale speed and agility all while maintaining the carrier grade performance and resili resiliency that you require. But more importantly, choose a platform that will allow you to innovate quickly. Lakshmi, thank you very much for joining us on the program and explaining all about VMware's Telco Cloud Platform. Thank you, I really appreciate the opportunity. Oh.